What's going on guys? Today we are in the office and exclusive to Facebook. I want to take a little bit more time to go over posterior impingement of the shoulder. Now less common than its anterior counterpart, but a lot easier to self-manage. So what is posterior impingement and how do we get rid of it? So posterior impingement is often defined by sort of a pinching, grabbing pain in the back of the shoulder as we approach this external rotation uh, at 90 degrees abduction. So overhead athletes, I'm talking to you, pitchers, weekend warriors, uh, Olympic lifters, crossfitters, I'm talking to you. So what you're gonna get is as you, as you approach this overhead press position or military press position, you're gonna get a grabbing pain in the back of the shoulder. Now, so what happens as we approach that overhead position, as we abduct our shoulders and externally rotate, our humeral head, this ball and socket of the shoulder actually drifts a little bit. So we get a, a posterior translation. So this humerus slides back in its housing of the, the glenoid fossa of the scapula. So that, that motion is totally fine, it's totally normal, but what's not normal is having tissues in there that approximate that space. That's what we're impinging on. So if you look here, we're gonna have uh, our external rotator tendon, so our infraspinatus here and our teres minor here that all go to cross over in this joint space. Now, if those muscles are too tight, due to maybe an anterior instability or whatever, they're gonna approximate that move, that space where that humeral head needs to slide into. So we need to address those first to get ourselves out of pain. So we're not gonna change the movement of the humeral head, that posterior translation, totally normal. What we wanna do is we wanna loosen up those tissues a bit so that we can have that posterior translation of the humerus without them sort of uh, being within the space that that glenohumeral joint uh, needs to travel. So if you'll join me on the floor for a second, what I want you to do, it's called a sleeper stretch. Now, how you execute this stretch is very important. Uh, it's gonna dictate how successful it is on releasing that posterior capsule. So what I want you to do, lying on your side, really approximate that shoulder with your body weight. So I want you to lean all your body weight as much as you can over top of that shoulder, and now let yourself kind of rest into the floor. Now from here, we're gonna start internally rotating. So think, if the structures that are impinging on that posterior aspect of the glenohumeral joint are external rotators, what better way to stretch them than to stretch them into internal rotation? So we're gonna sort of approximate that glenohumeral joint with our body weight, we're gonna start pressing in, and we're gonna make this a slow, long, static stretch. So if we're trying to affect the muscles, but also the posterior capsule, uh, time is very dose dependent. So if some is good, more is better. So we're looking upwards 30, 40 seconds holding in this stretch that should alleviate the symptoms. Make sure you retest. There are other things that can cause this posterior shoulder pain, but if this works, then we diagnose this by exclusion. We were able to get, get ahead of it and get you out of pain. So next time you're in the gym and you feel pain like this, make sure give this sleeper stretch a try. We'll see you next time.